Hello students, welcome to Unit 2, Week 1, Day 1. Today we will learn about a country in South America, Chile, by discussing the central ideas and supporting details of an article. So if this is North America, which continent would this be? That's right. This continent is called South America. It's called South America because it's in the South. Our focus word of the week is coast. Coast. How many syllables do you hear in the word coast? That's right, one syllable, coast. Now, I want you to say all the sounds you hear in the word coast. So repeat after me. K. O. Those are all the sounds in the word coast. Now, coast is a part of a country or a continent that lies along an ocean. And we're gonna talk about later how that is related to the word shore. But I want you to pay attention to other words that relate to this word coast to help you understand its meaning. So today, we're gonna to be reading an article called Up and Down Chile. Now, this is the flag of Chile. And here is a map of Chile. And Chile is here in the lighter yellow. And as you can see, it is on the west coast of the continent of South America. So it is on the west coast of the continent of South America. So let's read Up and Down Chile. Chile is a country in South America. It is long and skinny and goes down the west coast of the continent. It runs along the Pacific Ocean. Because it is so long, it has a lot of different kinds of land. Part of the country also has very different climates. Sorry, parts of the country also have very different climates. One major feature of Chile is its mountains. And feature is a thing that is special or interesting about something. So one thing that is special or interesting about Chile is its mountains. So one major feature of Chile is its mountains. There are mountains that go down the west coast. There's a word coast again of Chile. And let's remember coast is a part of a country or continent that lies along the ocean. There is also a mountain range on the east side of Chile. These mountains are the Andes Mountains. In between the two ranges is a valley. In the north part of Chile, there is a desert. This area is very dry and has mild temperatures. Most people in Chile live in the central part of the country. Central and central is when something is central, it means that it is in the middle of something. So when something is central, it is in the middle of something. This area also has mild temperatures. Some major cities are in this part of Chile. One of these is Santiago, the country's capital. Santiago is located in the valley between the mountain ranges. Further south, there are more lakes and forests. This area is more humid, with more water in the air. The land and weather are good for growing grain and farming. Toward the bottom tip of Chile, things change a lot. People cannot live there. It is cold and wet. Large parts of it are wilderness, but it is beautiful with mountains, glaciers, and fjords. Wow, look at those glaciers, look at those fjords. So now I want you to write two or three things that you learned from the article that you would like to remember. So pause and take a moment to do that. Now I'm gonna show you the things that I wrote down. 
So I said there are glaciers in the southern part of Chile. I love these glaciers. I think they're very beautiful. It's just, you know, big chunks of frozen ice. And there are a lot of mountains in Chile. And look at these big, beautiful mountains. And the article talked about that there were many different mountain ranges in Chile. Now, I want to go back to this word coast, and I want you to think of other words that connect to this word coast. And let's remember, coast is a part of a country and continent that lies along the ocean. So I chose the word shore, and shore is where the ocean and the land meet. So shore and coast are very similar words. What are other words that are related to coast? Maybe you could write the word ocean or land or continent. There are many different words that are related to the word coast, such as shore. Okay, scholars. So if you need to go back and read the article, please listen to me read it again. Just go ahead and listen again. And I will see you guys next time.